Hey guys, it's Carly here for MFT, and today I wanted to share with you a colorful, glittery cassette tape shaker card. So I'm gonna use the Cassette Tape Dynamics base layer for my shaker window. I'm gonna run that through my die cut machine on a card panel, and I'm going to be using that negative space. But I'm also going to save the positive die cuts that are still on my die cut platform, because I'm gonna use a few of those later on to finish. Now once I've got that shaker window die cut, I'm gonna actually move on to the background of the shaker card. I'm gonna do a little bit of rainbow blending with some Distress Oxide inks. So the reason I jumped from my shaker window panel to my background is because it's nice to have that window panel to lay over and make sure my ink blending is going in the right spots and then I don't need any more color coverage anywhere. And it's also gonna need a little bit of drying time, not just for the ink blending, but for the next step. So you'll see in just a second. Once I'm happy with that ink blending, I'm gonna take that panel and adhere it to a folded card. I'm using some double-sided tape. And the reason I didn't do the ink blending on that card front is because next I'm gonna add a glitter paste layer and that is a wet medium. And if you don't have thick enough cardstock, it can kind of warp your paper. So even having the heavyweight cardstock, it's nice to have that extra layer to really make sure that it stays nice and flat and doesn't get warped from the glitter paste. So if you have some glitter paste in your stash or even some stickles or drops or anything like that, this is a great chance to use it up as a background. But if you don't have any, it's really easy to make. So I've just got some ultra fine glitter in a little container and I've got some glossy accents that I'm adding. And then I'm just mixing it with a palette knife until I get the consistency that I'm looking for. Now I'm just spreading this on the background. It doesn't need to retain any shape really. So it doesn't have to be super thick, but if you're gonna use it through a stencil, you might wanna make sure you get it a little bit thicker so it holds its shape better. Now, almost as an afterthought, I decided to put a little bit of low-tech tape onto my panel to use as a guide for my glitter paste. And this is just to get kind of a cleaner look and also to make it easier to adhere everything together later. It's easier to put adhesive over smooth, um, defined glitter rather than kind of just a freeform, maybe a little bit chunky or uneven glitter, if that makes sense. I like to clean my tools off quickly to get that glitter paste off. And then also it's fun to add a few of my shaker sequins into the glitter paste so that no matter how you shake your card, you still always got a few of those sequins. And again, I'm just using my shaker window as a little guide to make sure I like where the sequins are going. Then I'm gonna pull off that tape while everything is still wet and set that panel aside to dry. And with that thin layer of glitter paste, it's not going to take very long. And while that's drying, I'm gonna finish my shaker window panel. So I've got the mixtape sentiment set and I'm stamping the You Rock along the bottom. And then I'm going to combine that with the Itty Bitty Thanks and stamp that one just underneath. I have been reminded by a friend that I say You Rock all the time. <laughs> so I thought this would be a funny card to send to her. And then I'm adding a few more layers from the cassette tape set. So I've got the label layer that I've die cut from white cardstock and stamped those black lines from the mixed tape set. And then I die cut the other two layers, one from pink cardstock, and then I needed black, but I couldn't find an easy scrap of black cardstock. So I decided to just use white because that was handy and color it with a black Sharpie. Then to turn that into a shaker window, I'm using a piece of acetate with some double-sided tape on the edges and a little bit of glue pen around the die cut opening to make sure everything is really stuck down and stays together. Then I'm gonna take those other layers that I die cut and glued together and glue those on top of the acetate for the shaker window. And then I wanted to define the bottom of the cassette tape shaker window just a little bit more. So I still have the positive cassette die cut on my cutting plate. I picked it up and it all stayed together, which was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting that. That made this next part easier. Um, so I put a little bit of glue pen on the back of just the little dots and little squares. So if you're looking at a real cassette tape or if you're using the positive die cut, those would be knockouts. Those would be little holes. But in this case, I'm going to use them to kind of just add definition. So I put a little bit of glue pen just on the back of those parts and I put the whole die cut in the opening so that I could push those little pieces in with my tweezers and not have to guess about spacing. So it worked out really well that it all stayed together when I took on my panel. If I had, if it hadn't stayed together, I could still use this technique. I just would have put the positive cassette die cut in there and then placed the little pieces back in, if that makes sense. So it just worked out nicely that I didn't have to do that. 
Then I used some foam tape to create the shaker container on the back of my shaker window panel. I filled it with some black star sequins and then I used another piece of plastic to close it up. So I often use another piece of acetate to seal my shaker containers to make it easier to put onto a card. I just happen to have some like extra plastic packaging so I decided to try that this time. It's a thinner plastic and it worked great. Just the same as having another piece of thick acetate. So it's a great way to kind of reuse some of your scraps or even your trash in your craft room. And the last step was just to mount that shaker panel to my dried glitter paste card. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will get time to craft today and I hope to see you again here soon. Thanks so much. Happy crafting.